Hello, welcome to day three of the quarantine games. Today, I'm going to show you how to build your very own rubber band gun. Now, you're going to need a few supplies to do this, but I'm pretty sure they're all things that you can find in your house. So, first, you're going to need a paper clip. For some reason, I cannot find any paper clips in my house, so I'm using a small wire, but a paper clip works great. You're also going to need rubber bands. Uh, it doesn't really matter how big the rubber bands are, you're going to build your gun to match uh, how far your rubber bands stretch anyway. So just whatever rubber bands you have laying around. If you don't have rubber bands, hair ties work great too. You're also going to need uh, some clothespins, one of these per gun, and then you're going to use a hot glue gun. Uh, I suppose you could also use uh, wood glue or super glue or just weld it, but I'm using a hot glue gun. Uh, then you're also going to need some scrap wood. Uh, really, there's nothing picky about this. Uh, this is an old piece of plywood, this is an old broomstick, just something long enough to hold your rubber band when it's fully stretched out, you're good to go. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take your uh, paper clip and bend it out so it's one flat wire. Alright, take that and set it aside, we're going to come back to it in just a second. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is figure out where you're going to put your clothespin on the piece of wood. So the way that we figure that out is take one of the rubber bands that you're going to be shooting, clip it in the clothespin, just like this, and then stretch it as far as you're comfortable with it still staying in the rubber band. And however far that is, is where you're going to put it on the piece of wood. Let's see. I'm going to put mine right there. So, mark that spot, then you take your hot glue, and you have plenty of glue here, and then you're going to put your clothespin and mount it to the wood. So again, that is stretched back from the end of the board as far as I feel comfortable stretching this rubber band in this clothespin. And that's how I know where to put it, right on the board. So while that hot glue is drying, the next step is to take our paper clip and mount it at the very end of the board. And what we want to do here is mount it just tiny little bit off the end of the board, hardly any at all. And we're going to mount it the same way just using a whole bunch of hot glue and my recommendation here is to not be conservative. Don't worry about the rubber band catching on it later. Just use a whole bunch of hot glue just to make sure that this stays on and doesn't fall off. So I'm going to put it there just right at the end there, um, and a whole bunch of hot glue under it, and we're just going to actually go and put some more on top of it. That's really all there is to it, it's just that clothespin in the back, and then that paper clip just extended past the end of the board on the front. Once the glue is all dry, you can take your uh, rubber band, put it in the clothespin, stretch it out to the end of your uh, board and just clip it over the end of that paper clip. And you have yourself a rubber band gun. Now, the next thing you have to do is to build targets. So you have something to shoot your rubber band gun at. So you could use uh, paper cups or plastic cups like what I just shot, but if you don't have any of those, have no fear, I have something else for you. Just take a normal sheet of paper, just a regular sheet of paper, and fold it in half like this. And then take that and fold it in half again. And 
then fold it in half this way. So you have a V, and then you're going to take this and you're going to fold out about halfway down. You're going to fold one side down, and then you're going to flip it over and you're going to fold the other side down. So now it looks like this. You just flatten out those ends and it'll stand up on its own. And you can shoot that as a target with your rubber band gun. So there you go, that's how you do it. Why don't you try it? Why don't you build your very own rubber band gun today and shoot some cups off the counter? And hey, once you get really good at it and you know how to build one, you could try building a double barrel rubber band gun. Two clothespins, two paper clips. Just like that. You guys have a great day, have fun, and hey, when you're done, send me a picture of your rubber band gun. I'd love to see it. All right. Have a great day.